what's up? Welcome back to Naval Battle Zone, and uh, welcome to good old shipyard reviews once again. I know this is something that a lot of a lot of people here on MBZ enjoy doing, showing off their shipbuilds, etc. Um, so that's what I'm going to be doing today: reviewing Jake, or sorry, Drake Burping's uh, Ship Two U-boat. Uh, yeah, so it's just a good old shipyard review. I want to get back in the swing of doing these. This is this will be the first one. Uh, for doing productions, you know, after the change. So I'll, um, I'll go bow to stern, uh, top to bottom. So, uh, first we got here, uh, looks like a du uh, double, right, because it's, uh, it's got the two gold blocks, even though it's just got one barrel. Um, well, actually, I think probably behaves like a single, just because, uh, just because there's only the barrel there, but my bad. So it looks like it is turret, looks like it's got a little bit of protection there, just so that first shell that hits doesn't kill the gun crew. Uh, cool little design though, compact, uh, definitely good for a uh, small vessel like a ship too. So we got the conning tower here, AA gun up on the periscope. Might be a good thing if you're, you know, standing up here in the water, you know, you're at periscope depth and there's a plane over there, you're shooting at him. Uh, here you got the periscope, it's got a helm up there that's always good, good to have a way to drive the boat when you're on the surface. Good, good way to have, uh, sorry, good way to drive with a good amount of visibility too. Yeah, no, obs no obstructions really up here, kind of low to the water. Definitely a good spot. Uh, then you got a AA gun back here. Um, one thing, if you're interested in making a more detailed AA gun design, take some nether bricks, you put that right on the spot where you want it, and then you get a fence gate. You put the fence gate. Uh, in front of it, right in the direction you want it pointing. Then you put another fence gate behind it, and then open it up so it looks kind of like uh, 50 cal or, or like in 20 millimeter or something like that. Just a, just a little tip if you're interested. It looks like he's got a flag. I would assume he's with the axis just because of all the crosses here. Uh, but um, let's go inside. So, oh good, he left the hatch open. Used to be used to be able to just open people's hatches and look in looking ships. So he's got radar, hydrophone, uh, and radio. I, um, I'm a little bit curious though why he has this in here, because there's not a helm here and there's not a, uh, you know, big window here to drive from and there's no periscope access. But, you know, whatever floats your boat. Right, so here he's got the actual periscope sign right here. Uh, it looks like he's got plenty of ballast tanks by the looks of things. So I guess we're in the control room. He's got the sonar, ballast tank, sub drive, all of the uh, things that are necessary to make a sub function. Got the TDC for directional shooting. Good job on that. Not everybody knows how to work those. Uh, cake room. Very important. Most important room on the ship. Totally. Don't don't believe that. That's that's a lie. Uh, furnace. You know. You, I guess you can't access it in the shipyard, but it does if you know if you got it parked at your base or something like that good good spot to store stuff right however if I'm not quite sure about this but if you move all the stuff might go away I'm not sure about about that so looks like we actually got pretty wide you know, inside here right he's got bunks he's got motors diesel engines uh, bunks for the crew uh, torpedoes looks like he has his torpedo reloads in the form of orange wool or in this case the cross because the texture pack, right? I, I, sorry, I call them texture packs, just, I, you know, I've always been used to calling them that way. But anyways, that's beside the point. So he's got his Mark II torpedoes in a double set here. Looks, it looks like he's got signs here to prevent flooding, but he can still see down to the end of the tube. This is probably so he can reload manually, but these signs are definitely a good thing, just so he accidentally doesn't flood the torpedo room, because you never know, sometimes torpedoes they glitch out and your torpedo room floods and then you have a bad day and nobody likes that and then up in the forward torpedo room similar setup looks like he's got more torpedo reloads here he's got the uh, half half reloads that he doesn't have the room for the additional ones back here obviously again he's got a set of mark twos um, or uh, two sets of mark twos two sets of two uh, again, he's got the manual reloading capability here with this access around to the side. So you can get around to reload these torpedoes manually if, you know, water floods. You know, because if water gets in here, it's going to take out all these levers and buttons and stuff. 
and you're not you're not you know especially these you know because these are the ones that you reload with if those are taken out you don't have extra levers chances are you do they're pretty easy to come by but if you don't it's good to be able to manually reload uh, if something does go wrong and it's also good to be able to just manually reload these you know if you have extra torpedoes up here or something like that you can just break them throw them down there uh, good, good that he's keeping uh, water tightness in mind um, because in a sub you definitely don't want a lot of water and most of you have probably experienced the flooding mechanic and as you know the things flood very quickly and it's difficult to stop one block of water gets into somewhere and well the whole thing kinda dies so anyway um, great little sub definitely the good thing about small submarines is they're easy to get around you know if you're maneuvering in like a small little bay or something like that uh, they're very easy to deal with in the sense that you know you don't have to calculate your turns as carefully as you do if you're in like a ship 3 or ship 5 because uh, some people including myself built you know huge ship 5 subs and they're kind of a pain but anyway that's beside the point but um Good job on the U-boat, Drake. Um, and for the record, the new intro um, song thingy that I coupled with my existing intro, um, I really want to know what you guys think of that and if I should keep using it. This will be the first video that I have it in, but if you don't like it, please let me know because if you think that it doesn't exactly vibe with the... Um, uh, kind of the being of the channel so to speak if it doesn't fit uh, I can I'd be happy to take it out uh, it's really about what you guys are thinking not necessarily what I'm thinking uh, I just thought it'd be cool uh, but please do let me know if something happens like that um, but anyways please like subscribe and comment and we will see you all another time